We've got some great guests in studio right now from Maple Glen, Teresa Gilman and Jessica LaPrame. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Thanks for coming on the air with me, talking about some things Maple Glen's up to. Thank First, you. we've got some some changes. Jessica, you're new to Maple Glen. Yeah, we do have some changes. I'm not new to Maple Glen. Okay. I've actually been with the company for 12 years. Wow. Um, nice. I am just the new resident services director. I kind of started at the bottom as a dishwasher when I was in my teens and then um, moved up from there to being a med tech where I've been for the last 10 years. And um, our executive director was promoted to work to, to a position with the corporate. Um, and so we've got a new, our resident services director moved up from that position to being the executive director and so I was promoted to being the resident services director. What does the resident services <laughs> director do at Maple Glen? Um, really coordinate care for the residents. That's our, our mission is to provide excellent care for everybody who lives there um, and to also motivate our care staff to to be giving that that excellent care. Wonderful. So that's really my mission is to get our get our staff excited to be there and um, to be giving exceptional care. That's to pretty our great to go from okay. from the bottom up I mean, that's that's a long time at a company, and to work your way up, that's yeah. pretty great. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long road, and um, I'm actually finishing nursing school this month, and so that's exciting for me also. So, yeah. Very cool. It's Tr been a long road. Yeah. I'm really proud of her. I bet. <laughs> She's doing really well. Teresa, what have, you, what have you been working on since we last chatted? Oh, goodness. Um, just the usual trying to get out there um, in the community to find seniors. Um, it's kind of become my passion right now at the moment to find the res or not residents potential. Yeah. Um, but the older people who are home alone. Okay. Who shouldn't be home alone pretty much think they should be home alone um, um, finding those out in the community visiting with them bringing them lunch or dinner making sure they're okay um, checking on them and if there's any way we can help them whether it be respite care where they can come and stay a couple weeks and let us take care of them um, or if we can find a way for them to be able to move in and be a permanent resident so they're not alone yeah um, there are people out there alone that um, can have a fall and not be found for days yeah you know and, and that's not okay and it's personally not okay for me so I'm trying to find wow. those people those and be, be there hard, for them. hard conversations to have with folks too who may have lived on their own been independent their whole lives right uh, and to make this big change it is it's very hard for them they you know they want to stay independent and they don't want to leave the home they've been in for years and um, so it's it's just getting to know them um, which I enjoy doing um, and trying to help them see that it, they're not giving up sure they're just um, we're given an opportunity to rest and and spend their energy on the things that they love to do and there's different levels of interaction at Maple Glen I right. mean you could be completely independent but at the same time you could be a part of all the daily activities and the meals and all those things so exactly very neat the holidays are coming up yes. Maple Glen's doing some stuff Yes, we are um, offering as a gift to our community to do um, free gift wrapping oh, yeah. for all seniors in the community. So you can bring, um, starts December 5th, we'll go through December 23rd, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. You oh, can wow. bring, they can bring their gifts in and we'll wrap them. We supply the ribbons, wrapping paper, and bows. So I cool. wanted everyone to know that. Um, also, our residents have adopted a family from Turning Point nice. for Christmas. Okay. So we, um, that's really neat um, that the residents care enough and that they're able, they go out and help us shop. So we take them, they help us shop, pick out the gifts for the family, wrap them, and we deliver them to the family on the 23rd. Is there a lot of uh, that kind of giving back uh, community spirit at, at Maple Glen, e either of you? Yeah. Yes. There really is. I think there really always has been. We've always had a big involvement with things going on in the community. Relay for Life has historically been a big one that we've always been involved uh -huh. in, for sure. Wow. So, yes. Yeah. So a family has been adopted, and then as we kind of, let's go back a little to some of the folks who may be living independently uh, uh, on their own. You're looking to also adopt maybe some of them to bring them in for a dinner or something like Correct. that. Correct. The residents would love um, if there's, you know, a couple families or not families, but seniors living home alone that don't have family around that are going to be alone on Christmas, they would like to welcome them into the community for our Christmas dinner. Um, if, you know, we might have to work out transportation and some other things, but we'll do whatever you know we can. Or by bringing um, them a meal out before Christmas and some gifts. Sure, so if sure. anybody knows of someone out there that's going to be alone for Christmas, please contact us. How's so the best? How's the best way to contact? 
call the um, call Maple Glen. And the phone number at Maple Glen this morning. Uh, For- Four two seven zero three zero zero. Perfect, perfect. This is a very cool thing uh, that you're doing to give back into the community. Uh, residents are adopting a family. There's also opportunities for uh, folks to come, and there's no pressure. It's not like they're going to come in and then get a sales pitch or anything like that. Oh, no, gosh, it's the no. holidays, and we want to <laughs> make sure people are with friends and family. Exactly. What are some other things the holidays are bringing to Maple Glen? Are you guys going to be part of the parade on Saturday? Are you going to do any involvement in that or other Not, types of holiday yeah. activities? Not this year, the parade. Um, if residents would like to go down and watch it this year, we'll definitely load up the bus oh, cool. and get them there to watch. Um, we have a lot of choirs, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, um, various church groups coming in to sing and do activities with our residents. So coming in-house, um, we've talked a little bit about possibly coming to watch the tree lighting ceremony Friday mm-hmm. night. Yeah. Um, yep. We're just working out details on that. Maple Glen Senior Living is at uh, mapleglensl.com. You can, again, find them 427 427- uh, 0300, the phone number there that we're seeing at uh, North 13th Loop Road in Shelton. Talking with Jessica LaPrame and Teresa Gilman this morning as uh, getting ready for the holiday season. And you can get involved and stop by, get some of those uh, gifts wrapped. That, that's quite the uh, production there. Every day, eight hours a day. Hopefully, you get a lot of gifts in there. Very nice. Nice talking with you and meeting you, Jessica. Good to see you Thank again, you. Teresa, as Good well. Happy holidays, and maybe we'll see you downtown this week for uh, Holiday Magic. Okay, well, thank you for having us. Thank you. Do you know you have access to the fastest internet in Washington State? Switch to iFiber Communications right now and take advantage of our special offers. Pay only $29.95 for 100 megabit high-speed internet or get three months of internet absolutely free. That's right, $29.95 for 100 megabit speeds or three months of internet free. Shop, stream, and game like never before with iFiber Communications high-speed internet. Call 360-427-4000 or check us online at iFiber.tv. Subject to credit approval, valid on a 24-month contract. 